What's up, everybody? I'm Tucker, and today the nominees for the 87th Academy Awards got announced, so that's going to be this week's topic. Real quick, though, before we jump into that, today it was also announced that Tom Hardy will no longer be in the Suicide Squad movie that's coming out in 2016. Supposedly it's because of just scheduling conflicts. The movie he's shooting now got pushed back a bit because it's taking him longer than they thought, and then he also has to go and do promoting for Mad Max, which he stars in, so it doesn't leave a lot of time for him to act in the Suicide Squad. So he is no longer part of that movie. He was playing Rick Flagg, who is kind of a leader-ish character of the Suicide Squad, often, but now they're going to need to find someone else. Supposedly, right now, that someone else is the Prince of Persia himself, Jake Gyllenhaal, but We'll see if that becomes a thing or not. That's just what I'm hearing right now. Jake Gyllenhaal is going to be replacing Tom Hardy. All right, so Academy Awards. The two movies with the most nominations are Birdman and Grand Budapest Hotel, each with nine nominations, which is pretty good. Two of the nominations that they each got is for Best Picture, and for Best Director, so pretty good movies. I personally have only seen Birdman. I've been meaning to see Grand Budapest since March. I just haven't got around to it yet. My plan is to try to watch it before the Academy Awards actually happen, along with a few others that I haven't seen yet. Whiplash and Foxcatcher, which I plan on seeing this weekend. So here is just a rundown of a few of the awards nominees. So, nominated for Best Picture, we have Birdman, Boyhood, Theory of Everything, Imitation Game, Selma, Whiplash, American Sniper, and Grand Budapest Hotel. Eight. Out of those eight movies, I've personally only seen two, and those are Birdman and Imitation Game. I like them both a lot, so I can see them being nominees for Best Picture. That makes sense to me, and I, either one I could see winning from my point of view at least, because they were both super well done. Imitation Game I found really interesting, and Birdman was just really cool. I liked a lot of what they did with it. I thought it was neat, so I'd be happy if either of those won. But from what I've heard, all of those movies are super good. Foxcatcher isn't in there, which I guess a lot of people expect it to be in there. It is up for Best Director, but we'll get to that in a sec. Ah, back after a camera freak out. Ugh. So if I had to pick one of those eight, I'd probably say Birdman. I could see winning just because it's up for so many other awards. Obviously, the people running this thing and voting have high standards for it. I think it's pretty good. So, I could see it winning more so than the invitation game. Four of those eight films are then also nominated for Best Director or Directing. And those four are Birdman, Boyhood, Invitation Game, and Grand Budapest. And they are alongside Foxcatcher, like I said earlier that one, I have no idea how it's going to go, since I, like I said, haven't seen all the movies. I've seen two of the five, same two as the last category, but I plan on seeing Foxcatcher this weekend. So I'll bring three out of the five, but this one, I honestly can't really say right now who is going to win. It'll probably come down to Grand Budapest and Birdman, because they are the popular choices for this year, it seems. And it's kind of interesting that if you look at the actors for a leading role that are nominated, four of those five were in Best Picture Movies, but then if you look at the Best Actress nominations, only one of those five was in a Best Picture Movie. The one actress who was nominated from a Best Picture Movie is Felicity Jones, that she was in the Theory of Everything, alongside Eddie Redmayne, who is also up for Best Actor. So those two are the only P 
people who shared a movie ended up for both best actor and actress. So that's neat. The other actresses who are nominated in this category are Julianne Moore for Still Alice, Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl, Marion Cotillard for Two Days, One Night, and Reese Witherspoon for Wild. I haven't seen any of those. I've been mean to see Gone Girl since it came out in October with my friend, but we just didn't get a chance to go together, and so I didn't go with anyone else. Which is unfortunate. And I'd never even heard of the movie that Marion Cotillard is in, Two Days, One Night. This is the first I've ever heard of it, but I like her, so I'm going to pick her to win. Yeah. Then the actors nominated alongside Eddie Redmayne are Steve Carell for Foxcatcher, Michael Keaton for Birdman, Benedict Cumberbatch for Imitation Game, and Bradley Cooper for American Sniper. That one I'm going to hold off judgment until I see Foxcatcher this weekend, just because I heard Steve Carell is super good. But even then, I'm not sure who I'd pick to win here. Michael Keaton and Benedict Cumberbatch, the only two people whose movies I've seen, both did really good jobs. I might give it to Benedict Cumberbatch in this one, out of those two. But for actress in a supporting role, I've seen three of the five movies, so I feel a little better about picking one out of those. Those nominees are Patricia Arquette for Boyhood, Laura Dern for Wild, Emma Stone for Birdman, Meryl Streep for Into the Woods, and Kira Knightley for The Imitation Game. So the three that I saw out of those are Birdman, Imitation Game, and Into the Woods. So Emma Stone, Kira Knightley, and Meryl Streep. So out of those three, we have Emma Stone, who this is, I believe, the first time she's ever been nominated for an Academy Award, versus Meryl Streep, who has now been nominated 19 times. So that's kind of two ends of the spectrum there. First time, and literally the most times of anyone ever. I think Keira Knightley's in the middle. I thought they all did pretty good. Meryl Streep just always gets real into it, so she does good. I really liked Keira Knightley in, in Imitation Game. Not a huge fan of her and the other things I've seen, but I really liked her in this movie. And Emma Stone's really awesome, and in Birdman, she did a really good job. She had a rant at her dad and Michael Keaton in the movie, and I just thought that was really good. So, rooting for the new girl. Emma Stone, you can do it. We all believe in you. For actor in a supporting role, the nominees are J.K. Simmons for Whiplash, Robert Duvall for The Judge, Ethan Hawke for Boyhood, Edward Norton for Birdman, and Mark Ruffalo for Foxcatcher. Two of these nominees have been the Hulk recently, Mark Ruffalo and Edward Norton, so fun fact there. Hulks are taking over supporting actor nominees. This one, I, I'm not sure at all, again, <laughs> who's going to win. The only one I've seen is Edward Norton and Birdman. I thought he did a good job. I don't know if it's quite supporting role of the year good job. But he did solid. So well, it'll be one of those five. That's what I can tell you. Then rounding out the awards that I will be speaking of in this video is Best Animated Film. And for those, we have Big Hero 6, How to Train Your Dragon 2, Song of the Sea, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, and Box Trolls. Only one of those that I've been able to see is How to Train Your Dragon 2. I really wanted to see Big Hero 6, but just got real busy and didn't get to see it yet. So for me, it's just between those two. So hopefully I'll be able to see it in the next four or five weeks before this happens. I thought How to Train Your Dragon 2 was good. I don't know if it was as good as the first one, or if it was better. It was kind of roughly equal. There were some parts I liked a bit better, some parts not as much liking as the first one. 
but it was solid for sure. So I guess right now I gotta give it to How to Train Your Dragon too. Until I see Big Hero Six, maybe that'll change. I don't know if I'll see the other ones. Box Trolls I heard was good, but nothing that I saw really did it for me. Tell Princess Kaguya looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll see that. I don't know. For now, How to Train Your Dragon Two is the winner in my prediction right here. So that is it for this week. Tune in to the Academy Awards in like five weeks to see if people that I think are going to win will win. Who knows? You never know with these things, huh? And also, before that, tune in to this again. You can come back next week and there'll be something here. You don't have to wait five weeks for me to come out and put something new. It's going to be here next week. So you don't have to wait. So do that. Come back. And then also like this video and subscribe so that you know right when that video comes out. I'm going to have to keep constantly refreshing because I know there are people who are just refreshing all the time waiting for the new one. So just subscribe instead. Save you time. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think are going to win these awards. Do you agree with me? Maybe you think Box Trolls was great. I don't know. Maybe you've seen more than I did so you can... Say, no, 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 you're wrong. This movie is way better than Imitation Game or Birdman. I don't know. Gotta let me know. Say your thoughts below. Until then, go out and see any of these movies you haven't seen, and I'll see you next week.